Hello and welcome to top 10 features of Pathwave ADS 2021. In this video series, we are looking at all the great enhancements done in the latest ADS release. This is tutorial number two on data display enhancements. In ADS 2021, there is two major enhancements done in data display, which is going to make designers life very, very simple especially if you deal with very complex data during your design work. The first enhancement done is basically doing bulk operations on multiple graphs or traces with few simple clicks. On the second side, we can now create an AEL functions, which could be our custom AEL function using the bunch of equations we are used to write on data display. This makes the whole experience very, very easy to understand and also to keep our data displays clutter free as well as share these AEL functions across the teams or customers for them to use. So what were you waiting for? Let's straight dive in and see how these enhancements make your life simple. In this data display, I have three traces and it is plotting S21, S11 and S22. Now many a times in our design work, we keep various versions of designs and often we need to compare them. Now in the earlier ADS releases, there were no easy way of doing that, but no longer is the case with ADS 2021. We can simply press a E button on your keyboard to bring out this expression manager. Now in expression manager, you get access to all the equations, all the traces which you have in your data display graph. Here, if I select three traces, which are already plotted on these graphs, I could simply right click and duplicate these traces and let's do one more time. So what this operation has done is copied the same traces three times on their individual graphs. Now I can select the group of three traces in this case, and you may have 20 traces. You could right click and select change data set. Now from the list of available data sets, I could simply direct it to another data set. And now you can see the blue trace now gets affected from the other data set. Similarly, we can select the third group here, right click, select change data set, and now we can direct it to some other data set. In no time, I have a comparative data display of all the revisions of my design. And also if needed, I could insert the trace marker as needed to compare the notional values at any frequency. Not only this, you could select all the traces which you have in your design, either by, a, you know, organized by a particular data set or a category, and you could do tons of bulk operation. For example, if I select these three traces and I go to trace and I can change all the trace attributes in one simple click. For example, I can change the thickness of these traces and I could make it to thickness of two. Or if I want to change the trace type, I could go ahead and trace, change the trace type to any other form or change the line type. For example, here, I want to change it to, you know, different kind of trace entry. So all these bulk operations are very, very easy to do. Feel free to explore at your own time all the features which you have. One just last feature before we turn our attention to AEL equation. Now many a times you do a very wide frequency sweep, but later we want to zoom in to a particular frequency. Let's say in this case between six to eight gigahertz. Now every time an older radius releases, you need to do that graph by graph. And if you have 20 graphs, you need to repeat the same thing 20 times. No longer the case here. So you select the required graphs, do a simple right click, go to axis and go to range. And now you can bulk edit all the axis in one shot. For example, here, I'm going to change it from six gigahertz to eight gigahertz in a step of 0.5 gigahertz. And with one operation, you can see all the gray, you know, graphs have been rescaled. All right, so feel free to explore. There are tons of improvement like find. You could do find and replace. You can change any faulty equation in your data display, find a faulty term, replace it in bulk as you go along. So all these things will make your life much, much simpler. Now coming to second enhancement where if you have written multiple equation to compute a main 
value here, but many times, you know, it's not very convenient. And if I bring on the expression manager, you can see all the equations which we have written on this data display. By selecting the equation here, you, it also gets selected in the expression manager. And if I right click, I could select all the dependent equations. So you can see all of them gets highlighted in the data display as well as in the text entry here. So in case this equation was giving some error, I could find the root cause of that error by looking at the functions uh, or equation this actual final equation was dependent on. So that's cool. The second thing you could do, you could simply create an AEL function from, uh, from this equation. And to do so, simply right click, select export to AEL function and now, ADS gets all the dependent equation, their values. And in this case, this function is not accepting any input argument because everything is already declared in the data display. But in case your equation is dependent on some schematic results or parameters originating in your schematic, you will have the input you know, arguments here. Now, once the, the AEL function is all automatically written by ADS, I could save it. I could give it any name I want, let's say myz0. I could just save this AEL file so that I can pass it around, or I can decide to auto load it this workspace. So once I saved it, it's done. And now I can use that function very simply here by typing, let's say I give it any variable name equal to, and the function which we create uh, would be the same name as this variable. So here I type realized underscore z0. And it will always you know, add function, which you might have noticed in the function when I was creating. So once I do that, there's no input argument. Click OK, and it's all done. Now I can simply insert a table, and I can plot my C0 by either typing here, or I can go to equations page here and look for my equation. Either way is fine. So now you can see the value which is calculated. Now on the same graph or same table, I could go ahead and plot realize C0. And what you will notice, obviously both of them are same and there is no surprise. All right, so this will make your life much simpler to create custom AEL functions without even knowing ABCD of AEL programming with simply you know, realizing the value of all the equations which you have done on your data display. Hope you like the improvements done to data display and there are plenty more, so feel free to explore on your own and offer the feedback on the new enhancements done by writing in the comment section below this video. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great time designing with ADS 2021 release.